Hello everyone. So today we would be looking at the local direction for some option which is there in Midas Civil. So it's available under the results tab. So this is the model which would we would be taking into consideration for today's demonstration. So it's a simple eye girder and uh, all the web and flanges are made from plate elements as you can see here. So first of all, what does local direction force some means, right? So this option provides the internal forces on a selected line or plane for a particular beam plate or solid elements. So all the resultant forces and the acting point are calculated on the basis of all the nodal forces included in the selected plane, right? So once we have done the detailed analysis of a specific part of the structure, this function can be quite handy for calculating, calculating the member forces for structural design. Okay, so let's look at this option. So we have basically two modes of selection. First is the line select and second would be the polygon select, right? So first of all, this option is quite handy when we are combining the results of line and plate elements or let's say to solid elements simultaneously. So it gives the summation of all the nodal forces for a selected plane or line. Okay, so first we would be looking at line select. So under the positions option we would be describing three points the first two points would be describing the line which would be taken for consideration and the third point would be defining the direction right the third direction in the sense the third point that defines the direction as to which side of the elements are to be considered for the summation of forces okay so let's say we are taking first second and this is the third point I would be clicking on calculate so you can see this black and white dotted line so all the nodes which are included in this line are getting uh, like are they, uh, getting evaluated and all the summation of all the forces are displayed here in the form of fx fim and like the moments okay so we can get the text or the table output as well we can name this section as a and i can just click on text output so we can just get a txt file here and also we can get a table output as well I just click on cell fate and this is a table output which we are getting for this particular particular section okay so this is all about the line select so, okay and uh, second would be the polygon select so you can see when we are selecting the polygon the solid option is also available so for solid type of element also the polygon option can be used uh, however the line option cannot be used Okay, so for polygon select, basically we would be defining four points which which would, which would be acting as the plane. Okay, and let's say we are taking first, second, third, and fourth. These are all, all the points which we are taking into consideration and you can just observe that we have taken it in clockwise direction. Okay, so clockwise and anti-clockwise also has some significance when we are uh, choosing the polygon select. Okay, so, so it describes the direction for which the uh, elements are to be considered just like the line select only according to right hand thumb rule so we click on calculate so you can see the black and white dotted line here so all the nodes which are getting uh, evaluated uh, like which are included in this black and white line so this uh, we would be getting the force of this particular section right so it's quite handy when we are calculating the section forces like when, when we are cutting the section in like in two different halves and we can also get the table and the text output for this as well. I would name it as B, let's say. And I can just click on this table output. And we can get the A and B simultaneously or separately as per our requirement. You can see these are the forces which are getting on table. We can easily copy paste it on Excel and use it for design purposes. So you can like we can we can cross check this as well. So let's say at the end. I'm taking the polygon select method and I'm taking it as clockwise, right? So we can see that there are no elements on the right side of the plane which we have defined, right? So technically there are no forces which can be generated at the end of the beam. Okay, and similarly, if I would be taking it as an anti-clockwise direction, so we can see there are all, like all the elements are there on the left side of the plane, right? So we would be getting some forces in this particular case, right? So in this way, we can just cross check this particular uh, uh, theory of this particular option and we can see this is the local uh, directions which are generated the x y and z direction so accordingly we can judge and this is how like the ldfs option is used it's quite handy when we are modeling a uh, plate element like the, when we are modeling the deck as plate element or when we are modeling a bo box culvert as plate elements so in that case when we are uh, calculating the design forces and moments so in that case the ldfs option comes in quite handy so yeah that's all about thank you